Cam Hunter here, diving straight into the clash everyone's been waiting for. Today, we put the DJI NEO 2 and the Mini 5 Pro head-to-head in a real-world showdown. From flight stability to low-light power, nothing gets a pass. Every detail is tested. If you're hunting for the perfect compact drone, this battle will clear the fog. We'll push both machines through speed runs, tracking shots, and wind resistance trials. No hype, just pure performance breakdowns that actually matter. Stay locked in as we cut through specs, strengths, weaknesses, and real footage proof. Let's see which one truly earns its place in your camera bag. The Neo 2 or the Mini 5 Pro? DJI Neo 2 vs. Mini 5 Pro. The DJI Neo 2 vs. Mini 5 Pro comparison instantly feels like placing two different ideas of portable aerial filmmaking side by side. Because the Neo 2 pushes an ultra compact, hyper responsive design aimed at creators who want fast deployment and immersive micro cinematic shots, while the Mini 5 Pro carries that classic mini series attitude of polished ability, refined imaging, and flagship level flight intelligence. And when you hold them together, you immediately sense a difference in philosophy. The Neo 2 feels like a creator's pocket tool for rapid captures, while the Mini 5 Pro feels like a small but serious filmmaking instrument built for bigger, cleaner, more controlled footage. And as soon as you power them on and lift them into the air, the contrast becomes even clearer with the Neo 2 darting around with crisp acceleration, snappy direction shifts and that lively micro-drone agility that begs you to fly closer, lower, and more creatively while the Mini 5 Pro floats. With a butter-smooth steadiness that almost looks gimbal-locked or horizon as if it's made for wide landscapes, cinematic passes, and long control reveals, the Neo 2's camera feels tuned for dynamic shots with punchy detail, and a very action camera-like handling of highlights, shadows, and sudden motion delivering a style that suits fast travel vlogs and energetic sequences. While the Mini 5 Pro sensor produces images with more tonal range, more softness in the gradients, and a more film-ready look that works beautifully for slow pans, careful compositions, and premium b-roll. Even in windy conditions, a difference is visible because the Neo 2 muscles through breezes with quick corrections, while the Mini 5 Pro uses its more refined flight controller to absorb wind pressure and maintain a smoother overall path. And when it comes to obstacle sensing, the Neo 2 favors a lightweight to mid protection setup meant for confident flyers who value agility over full surround. Navigation. While the Mini 5 Pro's more advanced detection feels reassuring when flying in tight backyards, tree-lined parks, or low-light environments, and as you switch through flight modes, the Neo 2 encourages experimentation with swift dives, fast pulls, and immersive movement, whereas the Mini 5 Pro encourages precision, planning, and shot building, almost guiding you toward a more cinematic discipline. Battery performance also reflects their identities because the Neo 2 aims for enough. Airtime to capture bursts of creative motion while staying extremely portable. Whereas the Mini 5 Pro gives longer sustained flights that let you build sequences at calmer pace. Even the sound signature differs with the Neo 2, producing a tighter where that matches its size and speed, while the Mini 5 Pro gives a slightly deeper tone that suits its larger profile. The UI feel between them is also distinct with the Neo 2, leaning towards quick simplicity and creator-first access while the Mini 5 Pro uses a more classic DJI layout that supports pro-level adjustments across exposure, color profiles, and flight tuning. When capturing low-light shots, the Neo 2 holds up surprisingly well thanks to its tuning for vibrant detail, but the Mini 5 Pro pulls ahead with cleaner noise handling and smoother shadow gradients. In dynamic range, the Neo 2 offers a bold and contrasty look that makes its images pop instantly while the Mini 5 Pro provides a gentler, more flexible base for color grading. In fast motion tracking, the Neo 2 excels with quick lock-ons and reactive repositioning, ideal for activities, biking, and rapid travel footage, while the Mini 5 Pro excels in steady subject motion and long, continuous follow paths that feel almost cinematic. 
When reviewing footage side by side, you see the Neo 2 shine in compact action style edits, while the Mini 5 Pro footage feels more at home in full travel films, documentary style shoots, and polished social content. The Neo 2's biggest strength is how fun, light, and creatively open it feels, like a drone that invites you to break patterns and try angles you wouldn't normally attempt. While the Mini 5 Pro's biggest strength is how confidently it can replace larger drones for many scenarios, giving you premium aerial footage without needing the bulk of full-size system. Both drones serve creators, but in different ways. The Neo 2 for those who want to move fast, improvise, and capture dynamic micro-cinema clips, and the Mini 5 Pro for those who want to find imagery, longer flights, and a filmmaking-first approach. So the real choice depends entirely on what style of storytelling you want. If you want energy, movement, and compact creativity, the Neo 2 feels instantly rewarding. But if you want polished, controlled, cinematic aerial content, the Mini 5 Pro stands strong. And in the end, the comparison isn't about which drone is universally better, but which one aligns with the way you see scenes, plan shots, and tell. Stories, because both DJI Neo 2 and Mini 5 Pro carve out their own identity, and for creators who understand their craft, each drone delivers exactly the kind of visual personality it promises. And that's a wrap on today's showdown, Neo 2 vs. Mini 5 Pro. Two drones, two stories, but only you decide the winner. We dove into performance, the camera, and the flight fields, and I hope it helped you see which one fits your aerial vision. Here on Cam Hunter, we don't just test gear, we hunt for excellence. If you felt that thrill of flying through every frame, you're exactly why I do this. Expect more in-depth reviews, side-by-side -side comparisons, and honest takes on the latest tech. Future videos will push boundaries, higher speeds, sharper shots, and smarter flying. I want you to stay part of this journey, to explore, experiment, and elevate your craft. So. Make sure you're locked in for what's coming next. Hit that subscribe button right now to stay in the loop. You won't miss out when we explore the next big thing in drone innovation. And drop a comment. Tell me which drone you'd pick and why. Your feedback powers this channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for flying with Cam Hunter. See you in the next one where the hunt never ends.